Richard, thanks so much for joining us. Why is Simon Property Group attractive to you, you here when retail really sold off sharply on fears about this variant and what that may mean for really the general public's concern about being out in public? Sure. Thanks for having me. Uh, three points I want to make. First of all, we are not mall bulls, but we are Simon Property Group bulls. Why is that the case? Well, this is a company that lost 20% of its total NOI in 2020 versus 2019. That's a billion dollars. We believe that they can begin to grow again on a derated base. So indeed, what's happened this year is they have beaten raised three consecutive quarters in a row, something that they haven't done in quite some time. At the same time, we think the dividend is going to continue to increase. Right now, they're paying a dividend around $6.60. They paid a dividend of $8.30 prior to COVID in 2019, yet they're producing the same free cash flows today. So when we look at this pullback that we've had over the past couple of weeks, we see a company that you can buy similar to where it was trading prior to 3Q21, which was a really, really strong quarter for them. And they are trading below their intrinsic value, which has been a key thesis of why we've been overweight for the better part of the past year or so. Bottom line, this is a this is a mall REIT that you can bank on. This is a mall REIT that will be a winner from a continued rationalization in the retail real estate sector. And we think they will continue to beat and raise. They will continue to raise the dividend. And therefore, the stock is an attractive entry point at this point. Richard, is is Simon Property Group attractive to you also because it's often hailed as the best operator of the bunch, even though, to your point, only about a little over half of its properties are mall-based? If you're going to pick a mall, this is the one that you want? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, really, it's a really great question. So as we think about this, let me be clear, uh, about 55% of Simon Property Group's total NOI comes from malls. The other 45% comes from outlet centers. We do think they are a very strong operator. We think they have strong in, uh, negotiating power with tenants, um, both because there will be a survivor on the other side of this rationalization that we think is coming. But more importantly, let's not dismiss their acquisition of Taubman uh, uh, two years, almost two years ago at this point, which is a high quality portfolio that gives them really strong negotiating power. You have to be a strong sponsor with a lot of scale to operate in this environment. And we think Simon Property Group offers both of those benefits. When you talk about the rationalization of the mall or of retail and things change, we know it's been happening for some time, pre-pandemic, even the composition of the malls or the businesses within the malls are changing. Does that matter to you as an investor or as long as someone's paying the rent, it doesn't matter if it's a gym or if it's a grocery store or if it's a gap? Yeah, look, I, I, think, it, I think it actually does matter. So let me unpack this a little bit. Um, uh, we're a big believer that e-commerce isn't killing retail real estate. We think retail real estate is killing retail real estate. Let me explain what that means. Uh, retail real estate GLA has grown at more than 300% since 1970. The U.S. population has grown at 60%. We're just over retailed in the United States. We think that 10 to 15% of open air shopping centers need to be rationalized. And we think 35% of malls need to be rationalized in the coming years. So as we think about that, that means that the higher quality malls will be winners, but you can't just put any tenant in there. You need to maintain the fabric and the integrity of the high quality mall. Otherwise it can be sort of a slippery slope and a downward spiral, if you will. Yeah, maybe it staves off, uh, uh, the, the, the rationalization for a period of time, but you still do need a high quality tenant pool that, that uh, speaks to uh, a, a, a consumer that is willing to spend at that property. So look, you can't just put any property, any tenant in there. You need to, you need to preserve the integrity of the retail real estate property.